Becky, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a home manicure with for the July fingernails with glitter. So you want to start with taking your bottles and of your polish, and you want to shake it. Though some people will say don't shake it because it causes bubbles, which we don't want bubbles in our polish, so they say roll it. So I did both. So do that with all your bottles, and then set them down. So when you're done soaking your fingers. Um, then the bubbles are gone. First thing you want to do is remove the fingernail polish. With real nails, you want acetone nail polish remover, of course, in your cotton swab. Get the polish off. Not acetone remover it will work on acrylic nails, but it really does not help getting nail polish off real nails. Let me, I have tried. So acetone, if you have real nails, Acrylic nails, not acetone. And so, first thing you want to do after you remove your polish is you want to file your nails, clip your nails, toe clipper, your nail, fingernail clipper, and you've got, you know, array of files. Now, when you file your nails, if they're fairly smooth, you just want to go in one direction. Just one direction. Because if you do it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you will wear the nail down. But if you have a jagged edge that needs worn down, you can use your nail clippers. And these are cuticle nippers, which I find are really good with hangnails. I love these. Okay, so once you got your nails filed, you want to put dishwashing soap with water into a hand bowl or a regular bowl. This is your hand bowl. Yeah. Like cooking show, we're not doing this in real time because I'm sure you don't want to sit there 10 minutes watching me soak my nails. So, put your hands in the bath or like in a regular bowl and soak your hands for 10 minutes. Now this will expand your nails so you want to make sure your hands are dried before you put the polish on because your nails will shrink and will crack your fingernail polish. So, once you're done soaking for 10 minutes, and yes, there are recipes online for olive oil and honey, milk, eggs to soak your nails in to add moisture to them, but that's why God invented lotion. So, after you're done soaking your nails, you're going to use the brush and get all the dirt out of the nails, brush them clean, brush them clean, and then with your feet, you soak them in a bath, and you use the brush to clean your feet, and then you use the pumice stone, which came off of this. You use the pumice stone at the bottom of your feet, because this will take away the dry skin and reveal new skin. So just use that on the bottom of your feet. And then dry your nails, all dry. Then we're going to push back our nails. So we're going to grab our orange stick, which is not from the orange tree that you get the fruit from that we drink at breakfast, but orange wood that's actually a shrub. So wrap a piece of cotton around your orange stick. And there's a kind of like scoop that side. That's what we want. And we're going to use the cotton ball and you're going to push back your cuticles, which is the thing around your nail bed. So you're going to push these back. Don't be too rough. You don't want to bleed. And push them back to make our nails look longer. Yes. Price of paint to be beautiful. All this work. So push back all your cuticles. And if you have any straggly ends, that's where you use the cuticle nippers. So you use cuticle nippers to get off any dry skin that comes off. Any hangnails or anything that's loose. You don't actually cut into your cuticles. Don't ever, ever, ever do that unless you really want an infection or to bleed. So you just cut off the loose skin. Which is why I say they are really good for hangnails. So when you've done all that, you want to use your cuticle cream. I should mention, you should do the cuticle cream, just push it on, rub it into your nail, then push the cuticles back. 
because the cuticle cream softens it. And it's nice apricot smell. But I have to warn you, do not leave this apricot massage cream on for very long because your fingers will start to burn. So eventually you have to wash that off. Okay, no, no. okay so massage cream, or you can just skip that part. Whatever your pleasure is. And you cut ball, orange stick, push back to two. Then we are ready for polish. So with the toes, I'm sure everyone is familiar with these. Hey, Bubba. With these, you put these in between the toes so you can polish your nails without them touching. So we put these in between our toes. Like so. Of course, in TV shows, when people are doing their nails and their toes, they're like walking their heels because, you know, this is kind of annoying to walk in with the things in. So, when you're done, put your polish for your feet. You need to do polish for your hands, which are very handy. So, we'll go over that. First, you do your undercoat. And you don't want to put very much on, just a little bit. Now these nails have been soaked and they've been filed and they've been, cuticle has been pushed back but no polish on them yet. I just did my left hand. Okay, so we do the undercoat. Let that dry. And there's many ways to dry. You can put your hands in the freezer. See heart. You're really in my shell. And then there's also a nail dryer, which I found at Kohl's one Christmas, which blows dry air onto the nails, but you have to push it down so it's kind of annoying. To do it for an extended period of time, which looks like this, and you just put push down and it blows cool air. And when you're done with that, dry this. You want to do the color, and you want to do two thin layers of color, but I like to do the sparkles, so that's my second layer, so I just do one thin layer. It's best not to do one thick layer, simply because it takes too long to dry. And who wants to wait forever for the nails to dry? You start in the middle, and you go to your sides. No worries. Get rid of excess, because you don't want... Nail polish all over your fingers. I try to match my toes and my hands. Okay, very thin. Okay, just thin. And then you just dry. And for this liquid quick dry, you have to dry your nails for a minute. And then you put it on, and it should dry faster than normal. Then, when this all dry, I put the sparkle coat, which looks very nice. You can see. Nice sparkle. And then, after the sparkle, I'll put my quick dry on. Then, I'll put on a top coat so my nails don't, you know, chip so easily. And then you just wait for it to dry. And then of course when you're done painting your toenails, you take these things out. And that's pretty much how to do a home manicure. Oh, wait. At the very, very end when your nails are nice and dry, you do the piece of resistance lotion. Lotion. Rub it on your feet, rub it on your hands. And all done. Do not rub lotion on your nails or you'll, you know, ruin it. Just rub, rub, rub on your skin. Of course, naturally, if you get nail polish on your skin, don't worry about it. When it dries, it will come right off. You can, like, scrape it off with your finger or you can use the orange stick with the end here and just scrape off any excess 
nail polish off your skin. It's very easily coming off your skin. I'm a bruv. And this is the final end of the home manicure. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy 4th of July.